Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to do a little piece on uh, the original chicken water redesigned. So let's move the camera in and get a closer look at this operation. <clears throat> now, originally, when we were using fiberglass wicks before carbon fell back in the old days, <clears throat> I uh, sold the chicken water, but I quit selling it eventually because people were having a real hard time judging the distance between the elevation of the chicken water and the elevation of the stove. And in a lot of cases they get it too high and flood the stove and cause all kinds of problems. So, uh, here's what I've come up with. I'm using fuel that's tinted with watercolors, or food coloring I mean. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my stove, and because it's carbon felt, I'm just going to pull the wick right out. Now, what I'm going to do next is, I hope you can see this. Let me check the camera and make sure you can. I'll do it from here. Okay, let's move the camera right down. Okay, what I'm going to do here is, we're going to look right down inside of the stove. And this is what I recommend that you do with the chicken water. You look down inside the stove and you raise it up until you see fuel come in. And raise it until you get the fuel level where you'd like to have it. Get it a minute to stabilize, in this case right here, so that you've got at least a quarter of an inch of fuel on the bottom of your stove. Now wait and make sure that that's not going to climb or dip. Once it's stabilized, you can put something underneath the stove or move it around because you've got a fairly long hose to get it so that you have between a quarter and three-eighths of an inch of alcohol in the stove. Then put your wick back in and you're ready to cook and everything will work just fine. Now if you lift this stove too high, let me move this camera out. If you lift this too any higher, it will raise the alcohol level in the stove and eventually if you keep raising this and move it around and get it too high, you'll flood your stove. But as long as you keep it so that this nipple is about halfway up on the stove, you're all set. And using the tinted fuel and looking down inside of the stove, you can now tell whether you have it set right. Now you only have to set it once and then you can cook for an hour or two depending on what size bottle you put on this. Now I've made two different sizes. I've made this one for the 8 ounce bottle. Uh, and I've also made this one for the 2 ounce bottles. Uh, they're not interchangeable because they take two different size caps. I prefer the 2 ounce bottles and I think with a two ounce bottle I get about maybe, oh I did the math on this, I think with an eight ounce bottle I get about three hours, so the two ounce bottle I get like a little over, or around 45 minutes, a little less than an hour to a bottle that size. And that's also enough to boil uh, four pots of water. So 45 minutes for a two ounce bottle and four pots of water, which is more than enough for one meal. So I carry one of these two ounce bottles for every day I'm going to be out. And that's fairly simple. That works out quite well. So let's set this up and uh, shoot a little video of it running so you can get an idea how it works. Okay, we'll light this and we'll be on our way. I've got a Snow Peak 600 pot here with a lid. And that's going to take about eight minutes to come to a boil. And as this burns off alcohol, this will refeed it. And every now and then you'll see a bubble go up. Uh, that's something you'll just have to wait to see. I'm going to move the camera right over on top of it. And I don't know whether you can see this or not. We'll just have to wait a minute and see. Okay, bubble just went up. I don't know whether you saw it or not, but it's very slow. 
It only does it like maybe once a minute. Uh, it's very frugal. This stove with this setup will boil my two cups of cold water on just a fraction over a half an ounce. You can pretty much call it one half ounce. Especially if you overfill your bottles just a little bit, you can get four boils out of a two ounce bottle. Now for the people that say, uh, and I've had people say this, well yeah, but you gotta shim this up and get it to right height. My answer to that is if you don't have the time to invest when you're out backpacking to get this the right height once and then cook for two hours and not have to mess with it, well, then don't buy it. <laughs> I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.